Hi, kindergarten. It's Miss Hartman again. I came back outside for math because I couldn't stay inside one more minute. It's too beautiful. And today we're talking about ordering sets. So today we're going to be gathering different nature items around our yard, and then we're going to bring them back together and count them in groups and decide which one is the smallest amount, and then we're going to order the sets in order from 1 to 10. So come on over to my table and take a look at what I found. So I gathered some items around my yard, and I have a pumpkin, and I have some rocks from the creek, and I found some candles, and I also found those flowers from last time, those pretty reddish-orange flowers, and then I found those leaves too, fall leaves. So now I'm going to count each item and I'm going to decide which ones are the smallest amount and which ones are the most. So I'm looking around. Well, I see right away I have a pumpkin. So I, my pumpkin is going to go right there and I'm going to make a number one for my pumpkin. Because I only have one so far, I guess I better go back to the farm and get another one soon. Okay, now I'm going to count my leaves and we're going to find out how many leaves I found in the yard. But remember when you're counting, you want to line up your items and count them from the left to the right so you don't miss any. Well, that makes it a lot easier to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. Okay, I'm going to make another number card for that. I found seven leaves in my yard. Put that one right there. And then I found some rocks also. Let me count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, I have a lot of rocks. Ten rocks. I know how to make a ten, a one, and a zero. I put my ten right underneath my rock so it doesn't blow away. So, so far I have a one, and a seven, and a ten. And when I'm thinking about counting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going in order. I think these are in order so far. Let me see. I also found these flowers, and I happen to have, let's see, one, two, three. I have three flowers. I'm going to make a label for that, too. Hmm. Now I have to think about this. I have a one, I have a seven, and a ten. Where does my three belong? If I was going to make sequential order with my numbers, where would it go? I'm going to just count out loud and try to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I heard three. It was right here before the seven. I'm going to put the three right here, and I'll put my flowers there. One, three, seven, and then the ten. I have one more item I want to count for that. And that's my candles. I found my candles out of my picnic table. And I have, let's see how many candles I have. One, two, three, four. I have four candles. That's my last number. I'm going to write down my four. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Okay, so let me think. Where will my four belong? One, two, three, Four. Oh, the four goes right here. I'm going to move my seven over. My four will go right there, and that's where my candles will belong. And now I've been working to order my sets. I have each set organized, and they're in order in sequential order, from the least to the most. Great job. I hope you can do this at your house today. Have fun with math.